If you are studying VPN, then surely you have to know about Diffie-Hellman. People say the toughest part of cryptography. Do you think the same? Let's make it easy with some simple steps and let's see what is Diffie-Hellman and why we require that in VPN. In VPN, one device encrypts the data and other end device decrypts. For this purpose, both end must have a powerful engine and that engine is encryption decryption engine. Let's say here are those engines for sender and receiver. There are two main parts of it to make it function and those are its algorithm and encryption key. Now let's see how the traffic is encrypted and sent to the peer. On sender side, it has data in clear text format and it is sent to the encryption engine where algorithm and key is applied. Clear text is converted to the cipher text and sent to the peer. Receiver does process this cipher text to its engine. It does apply same algorithm and key and decrypt from cipher text to the clear text. Encryption, which you just saw, for this we have some well-known algorithms like DES, triple DES, AES, etc. But what about the key? In VPN, this key is not chosen by administrator because it has to be very strong. VPN uses another helper engine to generate this key that is Diffie-Hellman which produce so heavy key and impossible to spoof. This is not a shared secret key because one device never share its key for encryption to any other device. But they generate same key because of Diffie-Hellman. Do you know who gave this idea to protect our VPN? Let me show you. Here are two genius, Whitefield Diffie and Martin Hellman. That's why the algorithm name is given as a Diffie-Hellman or in short DH. To understand Diffie-Hellman concept we have to learn only about three steps and those are modulo operation, prime number and primitive root. Let's see our first step that is about modulo operation. Let's see how it works. It's very simple and just finding a remainder after division one number by another. Let's take a look. Let's say we have to find 5 more 2. To solve this we divide 5 by 2 which gives 2 times 2 is equal to 4 and remainder as a 1. Here 1 is the answer of 5 more 2. Let's take another example this time 11 more 3. To solve this we have divided 11 by 3 which gives 3 times 3 meaning 9 so remainder is 2 when we subtract 9 from 11 here 2 is the answer for 11 more 3 isn't it easy all right keep this in one section of your mind and let's see the next step which is the prime number as the name it's a prime number a prime number is a number greater than 1 and can be completely divided by its own value or by number 1 only. For example, let's see if 2 is a prime number or not. 2 can be divided by 2 and by 1 only so it's a prime number. Same way 3 can be divided by 3 and only by 1 so it's also a prime number. Let's check if 4 is a prime number or not. 4 can be divided by 4, by 1 and by 2 also, so it can't be a prime number. Same way 5 is a prime number, can you tell me if 6 is a prime number or not? And the answer is it's not, because it can be divided by 1, 2, 3 completely. So let's remove this. Other prime numbers are 7, 11, 13, 17 and many more. Third term is to understand in Diffie-Hellman is primitive root. Primitive root is a number for selected prime number which provides all values up to prime number as an output if we use this formula. R raised to the power n mod p where p is selected prime number, r is a primitive root and n is any natural number or non-negative number but less than the prime number itself. To understand more, let me show you a simple calculation. 
Let's choose a prime number randomly and let's say this is 7. Let's find out if 2 is a primitive root of 7 or not. Do you remember the formula that is r raised to the power n mod p? Here r is 2 and p is 7. So it will be 2 raised to the power n mod 7. And n will be from 0 to 6 which is less than 7. Let's put this here n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 in the formula. Here are those inputs you see and here are the solutions for these inputs. As you see the output in the red color we are missing some values and those missing values are 3, 5 and 6. If 2 is a primitive root then output must be from 1 to 6 but it's not. So 2 is not a primitive root of a prime number 7. Let's see another example. This time let's check if 3 is primitive root of prime number 7 or not. We have same formula r raised to the power n mod p again. Here r is 3 this time and p is 7. So it will be 3 raised to the power n mod 7. n will be from 0 to 6 which is less than 7 and let's put 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 in this formula. And here is the input. And this is the solution for those inputs. As you see the output in the red color, we got all the value from 1 to 6 and missing values are none. So finally, 3 is primitive root of a prime number 7. We can have many primitive roots of a single prime number. For example, 7 has a primitive root 3 and 5. 13 has a primitive root which are 2, 6, 7 and 11. 7 has 8 primitive roots and those are 3, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12 and 14. Now you know how to calculate modulus, what is a prime number and what is primitive root and how to calculate them. Now finally let's see how Diffie-Hellman works by using these three objects. Let's assume that we have two routers red and green Red is a sender and green is receiver. Sender chooses its prime number randomly which has many primitive roots as shown on the screen. This sender chooses any number from these primitive roots randomly and let's say it has chosen number 3. As base formula which is R mode P is now it becomes 3 mode 17. This base 3 mode 17 is sent to the receiver end as well. After this they have same base as 3 mode 17. After common parameter they choose their own private values which is not shared to anyone. Let's say red router chooses its private value 3 and green router chooses 5. As base 3 mode 17 they use their private values as a power of the primitive root. After that they calculate this equation on red router it becomes 27 mode 17 meaning 10. This number 10 is a public value and it is irreversible process. We can't find private value from this public value by simple math. Same way the green router solves its equation 3 raised to the power 5 mode 17 which is 243 mode 17 which gives output as a 5. In the next step. These routers exchange their public values. This received value is used to calculate encryption key. Let's see on the red router. Red router had its private key in the formula 3 raised to the power 3 mode 17. It replaced primitive root value from received public value from green router which gives 125 mode 17 which gives as output 6. Same way the green router also replaces its base primitive root value from received public value from red router and find out the output. If you pay attention this number 6 is same on both router as well. Now they have generated same key for encryption which is used in encryption engine. I believe that now you have a very good idea about how Diffie-Hellman works and I could serve you better.
Please click on like button if you like this video and please do comment if you have any suggestion. Please do not forget to subscribe for such kind of videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice time.